What fact is common knowledge to people who work in your field, but almost unknown to the rest of the population? If you're putting in new carpet, always go top shelf with the pad. The increase in cost is negligible and the upgrade to feel, usability and endurance of the rug on top will be way better dollar to value ratio than spending on the carpet itself. 8 pounds memory foam is maybe 2 bucks a yard more than trash apartment grade stuff, but 10 times better underfoot. Go for the cheapest carpet you can stand, remember. You aren't going to be running your fingers through your house's carpet for more than 3 days after it's installed and put the best damn pad money can buy under it. You'll spend less and it'll feel like you bought $50 a yard carpet. Your eyes and mouth don't stay shut when you're dead. Somebody, me, has to shut them to make a deceased person look more presentable. Most Swiss cheeses, Gruyere, Emmentaler, Appenzeler, are lactose-free, as well as any cheese that's been aged at least two years, like Parmigiano Reggiano or an aged Gouda. I work at a cheese shop, and clients are usually surprised when I share that information with them. I wish more people with lactose intolerance knew about it. Drowning is silent. I pulled out a kid literally less than a foot away from a large group of adults, and not one of them noticed that his head was totally submerged and that he was struggling. Also, it can take just a few seconds for someone to go under and the pool surface to return to normal like they were never there. Add to that it can be extremely hard to see someone once they are under the surface if they aren't moving. Point is, lock up access to home pools and always keep children in view, at all times, when anywhere near water. You cannot go from having black hair to silver or platinum blonde in one sitting. It takes multiple and 9 times out of 10. Your hair is fried beyond repair by the end of it. Kim Kardashian or whoever you pinned on your Pinterest page or Instagram is wearing a wig. As someone who has ruined their hair many times thinking I could do things at home. I would like to add that, if you want a color change over anything besides 100% virgin hair, go to a salon and pay them what they ask. It might be cheaper to buy a bunch of bleach and try it yourself, but your hair will suffer, and any cost you may save will be eaten up by having to go get it fixed anyways. Just pay someone who actually went to school to do what you want, so you don't try your hair, yeah. Also you cannot lift color with color. You have to use bleach if you want to lighten the color you have. So people come into my salon crying cause they dyed their hair too dark and want it lighter but no bleach. Then they get mad when I say that's impossible. More people die in lifeboat drills than they do in any other marine incidents. There is a period of time every year that in the US, the Department of Transportation pulls over any and every truck that they can. During this period many trucking companies take vacation time, as the potential hassle is not worth the money made during this time. It really does help us at the library when you don't reshelve your own materials. Not because we don't trust you to know where they're supposed to go, but because if you put it away yourself, we can't keep track of the fact that someone looked at it, which is useful information for us to have. Close bracket. This is good to know. I always thought, if I put it back in the correct spot, it would be helpful. I'm a lifeguard so nothing special. But while training to be one I learned that nearly no drowning victims ever wake back up. They usually die. CPR only has a 10% success rate and even then the chance that they will be a veggie for the rest of their life is something like 80%. So in reality you have about a 2% chance of ever being normal again if you drown. Moral of this story is... Wear the life jacket if told to, and stop arguing with the lifeguards about how your child is a fish. The CPR numbers are skewed heavily by old farts with heart problems. If you are young and healthy and the reason your heart stopped is because you drowned, you have a much better chance of coming back. If the reason your heart stopped is because you have been killing it slowly with a blockage, the damage will likely kill you. Sorry. That said. You want to get oxygen back to those heart muscles and you brain as quick as possible because the muscle will start dying and you won't get it back. Not my current field. But when I worked at Starbucks not a lot of people understood that a larger espresso drink does not always equals more caffeine. A tall drink has one shot. Grand has two. And a venti also has two. 
unless it's iced, and then it gets a third shot. So many times customers would order a grand lat, and say you know what, you'd better make that a venti. I can use the extra caffeine when in fact the larger size is just more diluted with milk. If you are looking for more caffeine, a drip coffee is going to be the most bang for your buck. Also, this seems really obvious, but a lot of people would get upset when they ordered a flavored coffee and saw that I would put syrup in it. No. Coffee beans do not naturally come in caramel, vanilla, toffee nut, raspberry etc. Flavor. Also, this seems really obvious, but a lot of people would get upset when they ordered a flavored coffee and saw that I would put syrup in it it must have been frustrating to deal with at the time. But that's hilarious to read about. I would have thought it was common sense that coffee beans only come in coffee flavor. The maximum spacing between spindles in a railing is 4 feet because that's the average size of a baby's head. Most building officials will carry a 4 foot sphere with them when doing inspections on new construction. Similarly, when public play structures are being evaluated, the evaluator brings two size paddles, one which is equal to the average size of a new norm's head, and one that equal to the largest average size of a child under 10. They then stick the paddles in all crevices of the play structure. If the smaller one, the head, can get through, the bigger one, body, must also be able to, otherwise the structure won't pass inspection. Being a civil attorney, we almost never go to jury trial and the job can be unbelievably boring. And the time and expense involved, it's not uncommon for suits, particularly those of large dollar amounts, to take 3 to 5 years to reach resolution. And the expenses can easily run into the mid six figures. Just settled an admittedly ability crash case, where the only question was damages, mid six figure settlement, high five figure expenses, mostly for doctors and experts. Took three and a half years, spent time as a paralegal. Can confirm most people think successful lawsuit equals nearly instant cash. I got a pretty good spiel down for the dozens of weekly I'm gonna sue person slash company x inquiries I'd get. The best treatment for a child with anxiety is treating their parents anxiety. For those curious, I'm a licensed mental health professional that specializes in children. I appreciate that some people noted that anxiety is a necessary a healthy reaction that all people experience. Very true. Worries help keep us safe and let us know when there is danger. It's the worries that interfere with daily functioning that become an issue. I think of anxiety issues on a spectrum. On one end is a healthy dose and on the other is a diagnosable anxiety disorder. There are people all across that spectrum that would benefit from therapy and or learning some adaptive strategies. As some have pointed out, a child's anxiety is not 100% a result of a parent's anxiety. There are, of course. Cases where a child develops anxiety due to other circumstances. However, in the majority of cases with anxiety in children, it can be treated by treating the parent. Children look to their parents for guidance to learn about what is and isn't safe. They are sponges that are constantly learning how to react to different things they approach. One of the easiest examples to see this is when a child experiences a minor injury slash scare. They will naturally look to a trusted adult to judge how they should react. If the adult gasps, comes running with their arms extended, making a worried face, the child learns that was bad and they should be upset slash hurt slash scared. If the parent was to smile, shrug, and say oh man, the child will likely brush it off and move on, unless they acquired an injury, of course. Think about this on a bigger scale. If a child is consistently learning the world is a scary and dangerous place, there are threats everywhere, etc. They are being set up for anxiety issues. Same goes for specific phobias. Many of these are directly taught to children by seeing their parents fear. Nothing says to be afraid of something more than the person you rely on for your survival showing their own genuine fear. Simply following up with children regarding a scary or uncomfortable experience can make a world of difference. If you can inform them of what made that specific experience dangerous or scary, that helps teach them what to look out for instead of generalizing that fear to any experience that involves the same factors. One common example is children's fear of bugs. The children have never had a bad experience with bugs, but the fact their parent runs away screaming from them each time she has an encounter 
is a pretty clear message to them that they are not safe to be around. Nothing like the person you trust most in this world expressing panic to discourage you from even getting close to them. Especially when she tried reinforces your anxious reactions by holding you and crying with you after you nearly escaped death by a caterpillar. An elevator will go up to the top of the hoist instead of crash to the floor in most catastrophic failures due to the counterweights. I don't know if that makes my elevator anxiety better or worse. It all depends on whether there is a masked villain sawing at the rope holding the counterweights. Office copiers cost upwards of $7.000 some can go for $15.000 to $20.000 $000 depending on print speed and capacity. My girlfriend's uncle is an architect at a big architect company here. They recently bought a new printer that could do all kinds of advanced stuff that was over 7 slash 800k. It was under a water pipe which had a faulty connection. The pipe burst. Printer rendered useless. Yeah. Office copiers are beefy. But printers used for technical applications like architectural plans or construction drawings are on a whole different level. The toner in your printer is plastic being melted onto the paper. To add to this an inkjet printer macro boils the ink in the printhead before transferring it to the page. Bubbling just barely. I had no idea about this until last year. Not all brands though. HP and Canon use this method. Called thermal inkjet. It literally vaporizes the ink inside the cartridge in a single point creating a bubble that expands. Sending the ink outside into the paper. Epson and Brothers on the other hand use a system called piezoelectric. Based on piezoelectric materials on top of the cartridge that change shape when a voltage is applied. Generating a pressure differential that pushes the ink out. Each system has their pros and cons. Piezoelectric has a better control of the droplet sizes. Have a bigger selection of inks available because it's a mechanical process of printing vs the special heating ink on the thermal ones and you have the same quality from the start to the end of the cartridge. Whereas on the thermal ones the quality degrades with the use of the cartridge. Due to the big thermal variations in the printhead. The thermal print method main advantage is the price of the printheads is way cheaper compared to the other method. Neurodegenerative diseases, Alzheimer's, Parkinson starts way before the first symptoms appears. No one wake up suddenly one day with Alzheimer's. From actual data, it seems that the disease is rampant for 10 to 15 years before the first symptoms. Some research say that you can start identifying abnormalities 20 plus years before the memory loss begin. And it works for all neurodegenerative diseases are fake. There is a surprising amount of infrastructure under your feet. You'd be surprised how much public utility runs underneath private property. Always call before you dig. Rats are neophobic, scared of new things, and mice are naturally curious. Military grade does not mean it's awesome. Case in point, military grade meals. Doubling the dose of a drug does not double the effect. Likewise, a child should not be given the same dose per kilogram body weight as an adult. In jewelry, a diamond is a luxury expense not an investment. Gold is the investment. If you try to sell your engagement ring you'll get maybe 20% of what you initially paid for it. Jewelers can get diamonds for a fraction of what you paid for it. Gold is only an investment if you buy it at the right price. I. E. Not more jewelry price. You need to be somewhere in the ballpark of spot value for wait for it to be of any use as an investment. Maybe investment is the wrong word, but jewelry in general is not going to grow in value better than raw materials. Gold jewelry will hold its value better, which is what they were saying I think. Most 911 calls an ambulance receives on a daily basis are not remotely close to being emergencies. There was a good book by a British paramedic talking about the calls he received on a daily basis over the course of about a year. Everything from Matt and Ataxi, mum in very early labor, to collapsed alcoholics to a girl who lived across the road from the hospital, who had a splinter, blood, sweat and tea if you're interested.